Hi there. We'll be starting today with a drum loop and two percussion loops that we have edited in Recycle. We will show you how to save the groove quantize of these drum loops and import them into Cubase SX. We'll also show you how to apply this groove to other musical parts that we will be creating in Cubase SX. We will demonstrate more MIDI sequencing skills by using the MIDI plugins such as the Step Designer, the Calder and the Arpeggiator 5. This will allow you to write drum parts, bass lines, musical riffs without even the need of a MIDI controller keyboard. For today's tutorial, we are first going to start with an empty project in Cubase SX. We have already loaded a Battery 2 instrument in the VST instrument rack. And remember, Battery 2 is our virtual sample based drum machine. We have already made a custom kit for battery for this tutorial using a Rex file and other drum sounds from our sample CD. The first thing we are going to do is to import a MIDI file related to the Rex file loaded into battery so we can play it from Cubase SX. And to do this, we need to go to File, Import MIDI File, and then make sure to click on No as we do not want to create a new project. Next, we need to transpose the MIDI file by one semitone. This is because of the way that battery deals with Rex files. Recycle generates Rex and MIDI files starting from C1, but battery starts its slices from C-sharp 1. This is covered in more detail in session 2 and 4. And for those of you who have not already purchased session 2 and 4, you can consult the PDF notes provided with this tutorial. Let's check this is working by pressing play. Now we only want to use the first half of the bar. So we want to cut it into two. Make sure you have beat selected in the top right hand corner and grab the scissor tool and cut at this point here. Then the second half is highlighted so we can press delete. Highlight the first half and press Apple D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to copy the part. Now we can highlight these parts and glue them together to make a one bar MIDI file. Now that we have got a little one bar vibe drum pattern programmed, we now need to enhance this with a couple of percussion loops. I have previously made a couple of Rex files which we will now import straight into the Cubase project as an audio file. And to do this you go to File, Import, Audio File and then select your Rex file. So that's our first one and then I'm going to import another one. And as you can see, even though these loops have come from a different tempo, as they are Rex files, they are now working within this project at the same tempo as this project at 128. Now as you can see we have a basic drum pattern and a couple of percussion parts to start creating our tune with. You can now see in our arrangement window we have programmed some extra drums using the techniques we have previously shown you in session one. And we have done this by using the pencil tool and the key editor page. Now what we need to do is apply the groove of our drum loop to the other drums. Now let's have a look inside the kick drum part. If we click on the first note, let's have a look at the timing at the top left hand corner. At the moment you can see that everything is hard quantized to zero. Now let's go and have a look at our drum loop. You can see that all our hits are either a few ticks before or a few ticks after zero. 
In the previous session we have shown you how to use Rex drum loops and change the sounds while keeping the original groove. In this session we are going to use the groove of the drum loop to quantize all the other drum elements so that everything locks together in the same groove. So I now need to show you how to create a groove template from the drum loop we have used. And to do this we first need to select the MIDI part. Then go to the MIDI menu Advanced Quantize and Part to Groove. Now if you look at the Quantize drop down menu you can see the groove you have just created at the bottom of the list. You can even edit that Quantize template now, rename it and save it. To do that you need to go to MIDI, Quantize Setup. This is where you can create a more personal groove allowing you to quantize MIDI parts still retaining a live feel. Today we are simply going to rename their groove and apply it to all our other drums. So now let's go and select the kick drum part and apply this quantize. First of all we must select our groove template drum loop, press the letter Q and double click on the part. If we go to the second note you can see it's moved to 117 instead of 0. So it's slightly before. Now let's go and have a look at something that plays more of a 16th part like a tambourine and apply this quantize to this part. And as we flick through, you can see that hardly any of them will be found with the zero quantize point. So what we really need to do now is actually apply this quantize groove template to all the drums. And to do this, we can highlight all the drum MIDI parts and simply press the letter Q. And now let's play. Now for our next little tip, we're going to show you how to put, apply this quantize groove template to the audio. Firstly, we're going to select the conga file, double click on it, use Apple A or Control A on a PC. Make sure our drum loop groove quantize template is selected and simply press the letter Q on your keyboard. As you can see, the audio files have slightly moved. Let's do the same procedure to the second loop. Apple A drum loop, quantize and now let's hear our drum loop, our percussion loops and our MIDI all groove to the same MIDI file. And now as you can hear all our different parts are locking tightly together to the same groove. <laughs> 